Get pumped up, guys. Today is a total body workout. This is called a shoulder cross stretch. Bring one arm across your body and then loop the opposite arm underneath at about your elbow or forearm and then gently pull in towards your chest and keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Make sure that the arm that's crossed stays active and not just falling limp in your arms so you really feel the stretch. And then switch. Ten seconds. This exercise is called a clap jack. It's just like a jumping jack, but you bring your hands together and clap in front of your chest, and then arms come back out. It looks like this. Five seconds. This exercise is called a bridge kick. Start by lying flat on your back, bend your knees, and walk your heels in towards your seat. From here, roll your shoulders back, press through your palms, and lift your hips off the floor. Extend one leg towards the ceiling, drop your hips towards the mat, squeeze your glutes to lift, stay up high, and then lower your heel a few inches off the mat, and then all the way back up. So it's a drop, press, drop, lift, lower, squeeze, lower, lift. So this works your abs and your glutes. Keep your pace. Five seconds. This exercise is called the inchworm. If you have a yoga mat, step to one end, feet stacked under your hips, then bend forward, keeping your legs straight. Fingertips go towards the mat, then walk your hands out to a high plank position with shoulders over wrists. Make sure that your nose comes in front of your middle fingers, abs tight. Then walk your hands back towards your feet. Heels go down, tailbone goes up, and then you come to standing. Do it again all the way over. Walk out. Again, make sure your hips come forward. You make a straight line before you walk your hands all the way back. Use your core and your back to lift your upper body back to standing. If you cannot do this with straight legs, that's okay. Just bend the backs of your knees. Walk your hands all the way out to your plank. Then as you come back, bend your knees, send your tailbone back, hands back towards your toes, heels down, and then push through the legs to stand. Five reps. I'm gonna show you how to do tricep dips. Start by sitting on the ground, knees bent and toes pointing forward. Then bring your hands behind you, right underneath your shoulders with your fingertips pointing towards your heels. Very important. Press up through the palms to lift your hips up off the floor. Bend your elbows backwards behind you and then squeeze the back of your arm to come to standing. You can also do these with your legs straight out in front of you if you like. Stay strong. Five reps.
This exercise is called squat to high knee. Start with your feet about hips distance apart. Drop down into your squat, hips back, lower as low as you can, then push off one foot, draw it up to 90 degrees in front of you. All the way down, make sure you come all the way upright, squeeze your glutes at the top. And up. Five seconds left. This exercise is called the backward lunge. You wanna start with your feet together, toes and knees pointing forward, then take a nice big step all the way back, about two to three feet. Make sure that your front knee does not pass your front toe, and then go as low as you can with control. Drive through the feet and the glutes to come to standing. Alternate for the other side. Hands can be at your hips or out in front, whatever's most comfortable for you all the way down, exhale as you stand. Five reps. This stretch is called an upward salute. Start with your feet together, and then take a big step forward with one leg. Lower the back knee gently down towards the ground, and sweep your arms up overhead. As you do this, drive your hips forward, and you're gonna feel this stretch all the way through the front side of your body and down into your hips. Hold for a few seconds, and then switch to the other side. Five seconds left. 